Over the next few weeks, Gohan would begin training me, focusing on making me a Super Saiyan kid. His methods were dodgy. Dodge! Here, huh? clean yourself up. You know, if you think I'm rough, you should have trained with Mr. Piccolo. You really looked up to him, didn't you? Yeah, he was like the father I never had. You know, speaking of dads, Mom never talks about mine. So what? You think every dad who's a Super Saiyan makes you better than me? No! Wrong answer! He had a lot to prove. Gohan would never talk much about his family. Apparently, his mother and grandfather lived alone in the woods. I'm home, and I've got groceries. How are you doing, sweetheart? I should be a grandmother, you know. Oh. I should be a grandmother with a Nobel Prize winning son. But what am I? A widow. With a son who never talks to me and is possibly dead. You, y you, uh. So I'm just gonna sit here and knit this baby sweater. So, uh, is dinner happening? Will dinner bring my husband back? Maybe? Gohan will continue pushing me harder and harder, day and night, to become a Super Saiyan. That's it. Look at him, Mr. Piccolo. He's almost ready. What do you think? I think the only real training you'll ever get in this world is on the battlefield. <laughs> You're right. The next day... Uh, wow? I've already told you the plan six times, Cyburn. I'm not telling you again. No, 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 no. I know what we're doing is that, that what happens if we can't find the Predacons? If there's no Predacons to be found, then we won't need to find them, and the train will be safe. But well, what if we can't find them? I just told you that. I know what you said, but what if we can't find them? I just fucking told you! Calm down, Prowl. Let me try handling this. Cyburn, are you trying to ask what happens if we can't detect them? I did the same thing. Not exactly, Cyburn. And don't worry, Prowl and I have a scanner that could go across a 100 mile radius. The only problem is that we won't be able to pick up Sky by its energy signature because Megatron always keeps his second in command and himself cloaked at all times. The other Predacons will be easy to find, however, because, unlike me, Megatron doesn't give a fuck about his other low life soldiers. Yay! We're low life soldiers! I'm gonna kick your ass for that, Prime. Oh, so you don't want an annual paycheck. We get paid? <laughs> Pathetic little fools. They're all unaware of our plan. So yes, Optimus, assume that we are going to automatically attack the bullet train head on. But in the end, the energy stored inside the train will be ours. <laughs> Optimus, I'm detecting two Predacons up ahead. Cyburn, let's roll. Okie dokie. Two? That doesn't sound right. Gaskin, Darkscrim, and Slapper are always seen with each other. Unless... Oh crap, it's a diversion! <laughs> Uh, sir? I'm having trouble trying to track the train. Crap! Optimus, we have a problem! The MCB TF-10 telecommunications to the Ohio Combat 1 Konichi 1 bullet train has been cut off, and it's driving blind! That's not the only problem, Prime. Gaskon and Slapper plan to landmine underneath the bridge, and it's set to go off as soon as the train arrives. And we can't make contact with x one I think it may be a big dojo, Optimus. <sighs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I, don't have a I don't have a choice. Optimus, I know what you're going to do. Don't call them. We're going into x and I need someone to watch the train. I don't have any other options. Ty, assemble team bullet train. Oh boy. Pellegree, secure a channel to our commander. I want to report this and discuss our plans for manipulating the committee. Uh, 
I see. So what do you want me to do? The situation is proceeding as planned. Don't interfere with it for now. Of course. I can't imagine the second Milshan government and the Kukai Foundation will simply hand it over. If this situation warrants, we may have to use the Song of Nephilim. Now this is a surprise. I thought you hated it with a passion. I'm just saying even your toys have their uses. Then why don't you join me? We can enjoy the show together. Thanks, I'll pass. I don't share your perverse taste in hobbies. <laughs> yeah, right, you gutless bastard. Albedo. A URTV. A monster born of life recycling. There are plenty of mentally unstable life recycling variants out there. Just as Cherenkov was one of them. If he starts getting impatient and moves on his own... You needn't worry about that. Time means nothing to him. The only thing that interests him is that realia. Are you really going to use the Song of Nephilim? Pellegree, have you ever heard it? That song draws everything unto madness. Railspike, this is Ty! Optimus needs to remember its current location! I thought you said you didn't want me around anymore. Times have changed, Railspike. You're the only one who can help us. Yeah. My brothers aren't gonna be there, are they? Nope. Optimus only wanted you. All right, I'm on my way. Rapid run! Optimus, see you and your brothers to Rapid's location. It's a matter of an emergency. I'll fill you in on the way. You got it. Hey, you didn't tell Railspike me and Midnight were coming, right? He would have tagged along if I did. Okay then, I'm on my way. Midnight, this is Ty. Optimus, see you and your brothers to Rapid's location. It's a matter of an emergency. I'll fill you in on the way. <sighs> Must I, really? I don't remember what would last a second without you around. Touché. Very well then. But when I return to the HQ, I'd like something in return. Sure. How about a nice cup of Earl Hog Grey tea? Does that sound like a fair equivalent exchange? Oh, I suppose so. But is it even possible for me to drink those kind of liquids? Hey, you can have a robot and you can drink beer. Sure, baby, I know.